Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some more popper slivers. And we're up against Can. I don't know. Uh, this hand. I don't know how I feel about this hand. I'm not exactly thrilled with it. I think we can do better, honestly. It's got a lot of lands. A lot of weird stuff. We're going to be too slow, I think. This I will keep. This seems much better. I think I will... Just cut the strike? Cut the striking? Ooh, decisions. Yeah, we're going to cut the striking. Because we're going to go Thrive and Grove, call white. And then play Forest, play Viverland Sidewinder. That's the game plan here. And they're playing blue. Which isn't great. We're going to have to start playing around some stuff, unless we see another color. Hopefully they just tap out on their turn or something. Might see a preordain here or something. I don't know what they're doing. We're trying to pass the turn. There we go. Show it. They're going to Ash Baron. Sounds good. Forest. Okay, Simic. Acid Trip. Wait, wait, they got a forest, right? I didn't misread that. They did. Okay, so, Cascade. Looks like it's Cascade. Maybe. We shall see. Mm. Should I start getting the plated going? I haven't played any creatures yet. I'm going to get the plated going just in case. Maybe we can sneak past some removal from the red side. Um... And we might need it too if they start cascaded pretty soon. Let's see if I'm right in my cascade. I do like to guess. There it goes. A braid? Alright. Or it's just the control. There's the forest. Visionary. Man, I've been seeing him a lot. A lot, a lot. But I do like it. I do like it. I love them playing Visionary. I know it gives them a card, but like this tap, you know, at this point, like we can get down a lot. And it's great. I love it. I love it. Uh, we'll put down a Lord and a Sidewinder. And we could start getting in for a little bit. It's just like them taking a turn off. At a really crucial point when our deck can go off. So every time I see Visionary, I'm like, cool. Let's see how much we can just power out and get huge board advantage on them. We'll just get a good board presence while they're taking a turn to draw one card and get down a Land of War Visionary. Still a good card. I just, uh, when they go up against us, sometimes it hurts. They're holding up some stuff but we're gonna try to drop both our lords here see if they want to go for a kill right now maybe they got another abrade they've got scred oh haven't seen scred in a minute that's fine well we're still gonna continue racing their snow covered islands and lands play out another lord and swing in for six see if they want to chump scred 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 Mm, they are playing with the dual snow land too. Oh, they're gonna pulse. All right, bet. Uh, we need some. Re I would like some refill at this point. We got a strong board, but uh, the more they draw, the more they can find, and the worse I feel. Ash Baron's just playing it out. All right, let's see if they go for a cascade here. They do. Boarding party online. No good hit. Ooh, they hit a Mall Drifter. That's actually a really good hit for them. Ooh. Got a Racer in the sky. And they draw some cards. They are tapped out for a turn. Let's see if they want to swing in. They are. I'm going to take the hit. We'll race. Or I could just kill it. Nah. We're going we're gonna to take it. It's not what I want to see. Can I die? 
There is a chance I could die, so I'm gonna leave back one chump blocker, cause uh if they get down another cascade and then swing with boarding and like their dino or another boarding and then swing with Mully, but they're gonna chump with Mully. Uh just playing on the safe side, just in case we need to to do something here. I'm gonna hold this in hand for now. Make him think we have something. I don't know what. But uh, there's no point in playing it quite yet. So I'm saying about refill. Gotta get that refill. We got so much mana now. Any type of refill, we can play a couple creatures, one creature, it doesn't matter. Yeah, here comes another one. So might have been for the best that we held back that that thing. That's pretty good too. Draw a card, nice 3-3, three, three. good blocker. Alright, we will snap block one of their boardings at this point. Take six. Hold up. Wait a second. Hold up. They're going to chump block two. Yeah, we'll get rid of one of these. They got so many cards in hand. Hmm. All right. That is a bummer. So we could have won this turn. I don't. I didn't feel safe going to two though. That's a lot. That's a lot. All right, we're at eight. Well, we're getting in there. We're gonna bring them to four. We're just out here racing. They still uh, have some ways to kill us. I mean, they, they've got five cards in hand, so they could do a monster cascade. Hit it just right. Do some dirtiness. Let's see. Visionary. See? I, I like seeing that. They got three mana up right now. They're trying to draw into something to save them. You need like one more blocker or some type of removal. They're just attacking in for six. Couldn't remember if a braid targeted us or not, but it's just a target creature. Discred hit us. No. Do you have bolts? That's the question. Do you have bolts? I'm thinking they almost want me to block. And then they abrade one of my creatures and block the other two, survive another turn. Ooh, it's a tough call. I think I'm just going to take... I'm just going to take... Eh... See what my hindsight hindsight does here. All right, looks like I feel like they were going for that play, the abraid play. Like if we block these, go to three threes, they hit the abraid, and then we we don't really lose creatures to the chumps, but still might have been bad. All right, well, block block, and then do you have a, another pulse? I don't think that saves you here. You can hit for ten. Pulse. You go to 10, but you're taking 10. It's not really going to work out how you want it to. Yeah, okay. I don't know what... He might have done some math wrong or something. But hey, I've been there. I've done that. Uh, Masked Vandal. You are a good blocker. But you're not needed. Uh, so you're going to get cut. And we can bring in... Oh, they're playing with Pulse. That is annoying. Um... Benevolent might be good. Try to counteract some of their other remo removal they might be trying to bring in. Keep the striking. Striking is good against those uh, boarding parties and stuff. Hmm...
cut a plated or cut cut a winding way. Sure. Hmm, let's try it like that. Lone missionary? I never know when to bring him in. I mean, obviously against like stuff like burn and stuff, but like, is this a deck to bring in Lone Missionary? I don't know. Ah, uh, can't keep this. Can't keep this. I will keep it, but I'm not happy about it. All right, we got a gem hide. We got a refill. Let's just pray we can get our everything set up here correctly. Draw another land. I mean, that's fine, but I'm not thrilled about what's happening here. They played a foretold card. Can I see that right now? Where is it? It's in the exile. Which one's exile? Here it is. So that's probably their wolf, I'm guessing. I didn't see any other exile cards. I don't want to know about this. That's a problem. All right. Yeah, we're going to go this. Uh, hopefully he survives and we'll go gem hide into the sinew. What do they cycle for? Forest. There's their pack mate. That's fine. It's good 3-3. Three, three. Another sinew. It's very relevant now that our gem hide kind of stays alive. So I'm going to play these out as fast as I can. We could always dig for lands with Winding Way. Let's not forget about that. But don't really want to be digging for lands if we don't have to. Now they're going to be getting scared. They're going to be grabbing that forest. Yep. If they're smart, they'll realize my mana situation and go for my gem hide first. Passing. They're not going for my gem hide. That's fine. Ah, encampment. Thank you very much. I like that. Let's get him down. Winding way. Creature. Good, good. This is all very good. Uh, is this how I want to do it? Hold up. I can keep up. Tap him for this, but we don't really need to right now. Tap for this. No, we're ju we just want to play Lords, so it's fine. Let's just put him down and pass the turn with a bunch of nice 4-4s four while they're still setting up. Looks like they're a little slow on the ramp this game. I appreciate the Cascade deck. I think it's a really creative deck. I'm glad it's seeing play. I enjoy it. I don't mind going up against it. We can beat it pretty easily. And uh, it's just a fun deck. It's a cool deck. I like its style. Ramp into some hasty Cascade. I mean, Cascade in itself is just a cool mechanic. But yeah, they know they're done. Uh, we are throwing out a lot next turn, including another muscle. So yeah, GG. That was a fun game. I like it. I like it. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed as well. Make sure to subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video.